Hello everybody. Today we're going to be going over the shoulder roll as it pertains to a beginner. There are more nuances of this skill, but this is what we're going to start. The first thing you need to learn how to do is called a log roll. If you start on your stomach or your back, your goal is to roll over to the other side while trying to keep your abdominals flexed when you're on your back and your back muscles squeezing when you're on your stomach. Then you're going to try to roll side to side to figure out how this mechanic works. The next part here is learning how to do what's called the body half roll. While on the knees, you're going to bend your body down and then you're going to use your forearms to push yourself over to the other side, kicking your legs over one and then the other. This is going to teach you how to kick your legs over the top of your body so you can do the shoulder roll later on. Notice how I'm getting my forearm really close to my body and getting everything into a collapsed position. This is going to make it easier to transfer from an upright position into the floor using your soft parts of your body to connect with the ground. This next one starts in a sitting position. It teaches you how to get from a sitting position into an upright position to run out of your roll. This is going to be very important so that you don't hit your lower back when rolling on hard grounds. Please notice the diamond hands. The diamond hands allow you to go into a nice diamond hand push-up position, which makes a great transition from your arms to your forearm and then to your shoulder as you go into your shoulder roll. With this, also notice that with shoulder rolls, we're going in an angle from the shoulder to the opposite hip. Always keep this in mind so that you don't end up hitting your lower back and causing pain. Please take note in these next few videos how I go from one shoulder to the opposite hip. This lets me travel through the soft spot of my spine and less likely for me to hit my bones. If need be, you can also start this from your knees in order to feel the transition to your shoulders a little bit easier. Notice I'm trying to guide the floor to my shoulder with my hands. Also notice I'm moving my head out of the way of the ground. In fact, I'm moving it upwards away from it so that way I don't hit it by accident. Finally, when you're ready, please try to start this from a standing position, squat down low to the ground, place your hands to the side of your body, and go into your shoulder roll.